What's good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we will be going through my WWE figure belt collection. I want to give a special shout out to Burnout Inc. Chase from Burnout Inc. because he is the guy I got this idea from. I will leave a link in the description below where you can check out his channel. It is amazing. Very creative guy. But what I'm going to do is take this big bin here full of my title belts as you can see there. Take them out one by one. Talk about them. What I like about them. What I don't like about them. How Mattel probably could have made them better, how they made them, whatever. But that is what my plan is. I'm going to take the bin right here and set it to the left of the ring. And then one by one, just take them out and talk about it. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started because there are a lot to cover. And this video may run a little long, but bear with me and we will get through all of them. All right, guys, I had to change camera angles there. That way you could see the belts better. But the first belt we have right here is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I've always been a huge fan of this design. I really want a replica of this belt. I just always loved it. Um, I think it's very classic, very nostalgic. And I wish they would have brought this title back instead of the Universal title because I think the Universal title is just blah. But anyways, the next title up we have right here is the WWE Championship from the Ruthless Aggression era from about 2002 to 2004. Uh, I think that Brock, JBL, and Eddie Guerrero all look great with this title belt. I think that Mattel made this one a little bit too big. This is the one that came with the WrestleMania Brock Lesnar. And I think it may be a bit big, but I do enjoy the title, and I'm glad I have one of these in my collection. Now that I think about it, I think that they have a different version of that. But up next, we have this Rated R Spinner Championship that came with the Ringside Exclusive Edge figure, and I really dig this belt a lot. I only have one of these. I wish they would have added some details, you know, some silver and stuff like that. But this middle part does spin, so that's really awesome to have. But yeah, moving on to the next figure belt, we have the regular WWE Championship, the Spinner Belt, as everyone calls it. I think that everyone hates this belt except me. I absolutely love it. I actually have an adult-sized real replica of this belt, and I've always been a big fan of it. But the next title we have here is another World Heavyweight Championship title. I think you guys are going to be sick of that title by the end of this video. But moving on next, we have one half of the MDT Tag Team Championships. This one is exclusive to Vindication, as you can see on the side plates there. But it is made out of the ECW Championship, and I actually like this title design a lot, even though it's not the best painted-wise. And another World Heavyweight Championship right there. I know you guys are already sick of that one. But right here we have a WWE Championship from 2013. I actually enjoy this design a lot. I wish that the part right here behind the W was actually white instead of black. I saw a Photoshop uh, version of that and it looked really, really nice. But moving on, we have the current day WWE Championship and I think that this title is really classic, even though it's the updated new one. It's very modern and classic at the same time, very neat, and it just explains what WWE is all about. And next here, we have another World Heavyweight Championship, and then the next title belt that we have up is another World Heavyweight Championship, and then the next belt we have up right here is the MDT Extreme Championship, which I do love the title design of. It is the United States Championship as the base and I like that it is 24-7 on the line, just like the hardcore title. That was my goal when making that title. And then up next, we have the Raw Tag Team Championship. I made this myself. That's probably why it looks like trash, but I only needed it for pay-per-view predictions and stuff like that. So that's the reasoning behind that. Anything other than the penny belt, I can live with, though. I cannot stand those titles. But up next, we have the Smoking Skull Championship. And you could only get this one way by the Ringside Exclusive. But since they released that Defining Moment Stone Cold, this title became not so rare. So I do enjoy this title design a lot. I like personalized title belts, so I dig that one a lot. But up next here, we have the Oval Intercontinental Championship. And this is my favorite Intercontinental Championship design. I think that they need to bring this title back. I like it a lot better than the white one currently. And I know that's unpopular opinion, but that one is better to me. And next up, we have the other half of the MDT Tag Team Championship. You guys saw the other half earlier. And again, I do like this title design, and it is exclusive to Vindication only. And up next, we have probably my favorite belt in my entire belt collection. That is the MDT Championship. Just that zebra print on the strap looks absolutely amazing. I love the colors of it. You know, you have the world title, 
uh, logo on the left there and then the MDT Live on the other side plate and I just really dig this design the MDT in the middle it just represents everything that MDT stands for and you know the first champion ever Edge won that title on MDT Live not too long ago and then up next we have the white Intercontinental Championship this is the current WWE Intercontinental title and again I do love the white strap you know if you know me, I love white, but I think that the oval design is better than this one. But I do like the white a lot better than the black. And up next here, we have the United States Championship with the old Scratch logo. And I love the finish that they put on this title. I believe it came with either the Elite 23 Cesaro or whatever, but... I do love this title design a lot. I think it's probably the best title design probably ever in WWE history. It's just so clean and classic. And then next up, we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. Again, I did make this one as well. And it does not look that good. Again, I think it's very clumpy and crap. I think I need to redo those belts. But I do, again, like those way better than the Penny version. And next, we have the European Championship. You can get this with X-Pac and, I believe, D'Lo Brown. I don't know if you can get it with anybody else. But I do dig this title a lot. I think that um, they need to bring this back for Rusev or uh, anybody like that. Maybe even Cesaro. That would be cool. And up next, we have the WWF title, which I love a lot because this was the title design when I was um, getting into wrestling. I was around four or five years old, and it was just a beautiful title to see. Stone Cold and The Rock carrying this thing around. They just always look bad, eh? And up next, we have the NXT Championship. I actually like this title design a lot. You know, they just recently changed it, but I dig the wide strap and the big NXT logo in the middle. Very unique title design, but I am glad that they finally changed it. You know, I think that five years is a long time to have a title design, so changing it was the right move. And there we have another European Championship. I don't remember how many of those that I have, but here we have another WWE Spinner Championship. They've made a lot of versions of that belt now that I think about it. You know, the different shine. And here's the other half of the Raw Tag Team Championship there. Again, trash, custom job there. But um, moving on anyways, we have the other half of the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. And again, another trash custom belt made by yours truly. I need to redo those, Jesus Christ. But another oval intercontinental title belt as you see here. Again, I just really love this title design. I wish they would bring it back. It really needs to be brought back. I think that a lot of people would look really nice with that title. And another World Heavyweight Championship again there. And moving on to the next title belt, we have the WWE Championship. This is the first mold that we got for this title. And I got to say that this is absolute trash. I hate the way they did it. They have no, like, plates on it. It's just, you know, one molded piece and then painted over it. And I just think that this is very cheap of Mattel. And I just, this is probably one of my least favorite belts they've ever made. And up next here we have the better version of that title belt, and this is the WWE Championship with the plates on it, and that just looks way better than that first version, but you know, it is trial and error. And up next we have the WWF Tag Team Championship. I actually do love this title design, even though they didn't put the two-tone color in it. You know, it's supposed to be silver and gold, as I will show you later on on the World Tag Team titles of MDT. But up next, we are moving on to the Cruiserweight Championship here. And I like this title a lot. I hate how small it is, but I guess it does need to be accurate for those small guys back in the day. But I did like when they introduced this championship back then in the Ruthless Aggression era. And I can't wait for the Mattel new version of the Cruiserweight Championship with TJP. And here we have another WWF title from the Attitude Era. And the next title belt that we have up next is the Penny Pelt Tag Team title, which I absolutely hate. I don't know why they even went with this design. I think that it's trash. It's just really boring and really dull for me. And it's been around for so long. I'm so glad they changed it. But they kept the same plate design, so that's really stupid. I can't wait to get a fresh new title design for the tag team titles. I think that'd be absolutely incredible. But again, here we have another World Heavyweight Championship for you guys to look at. Now let's see here. The next title belt we have is another NXT Championship. Again, I do like this title design, but we do need an updated one now that they have changed the design of that title. But up next, we have the Hardcore Championship, which is ringside exclusive. And I did add these paint details, as you can see here, the brown, gold, and blue I added to make it more accurate. But always love this title. You know, you can only get it with the ringside exclusive cane, so that title is very rare. And then the next title here is another WWE Championship. Another one. And then the next title up we have here is a different variant of the WWE Championship. It's more of a shiny there, and I did glue this there so I could take a figure 
photo one time, and you know that's probably stupid of me to do that. But moving on to the next championship we have here is another WWF title, tag team title, and I gotta say I do love this. It always reminds me of classic tag team wrestling, which I can always appreciate. And then up next we have another Oval Intercontinental Championship, which again, just please WWE bring this title back for us. And then the next title we have another Undisputed slash WWE Championship. This is the exact same mold as the last one, or the first one I showed you guys. And um, I wish that it was smaller again, but I do appreciate this title belt, and I'm just glad that I have at least two in this collection. Another one. Another one. And then up next here, we have a Vindication title belt, which is the Revolutionary Championship, and I dig this title a lot. Um, it is the Winged Eagle title as the base, and I do like that fist logo in the middle, and I do dig the side plates a lot. I like that silver and gold um, dual colorway right there, and the yellow and blue really pop off of this title, so I do enjoy that title a lot. And then up next here, we have another Oval Intercontinental Championship, again with a black strap. And then up next, we have a new championship, and that is the Intercontinental Championship from the 90s with a black strap on it. And I gotta say that I do enjoy the white a lot better, but I do like seeing Stone Cold hold this championship. Um, I didn't witness it, obviously, but going back and looking at pictures and videos and stuff, he did look good with that title belt. But up next here, we have another European Championship. So I guess I did have three of those instead of two. I thought I only had two of them. Another one. The next title belt we have right here is one of my favorites of all time, and that is this WWE United States Championship with the modern logo on there. And this title came with the Elite 51 Roman Reigns, and it just looks really, really clean and nice. The gold with the blue and red contrast looks absolutely amazing together. And the next title we have here is another variant of the WWE Championship. I don't even remember if we've seen this variant yet or not, but it is more of like a white gold color instead of the, you know, that yellowish gold color. And then next up, we have this Raw World Tag Team Championship. And this is my favorite version of the Raw Tag Titles, I think, that, you know, with the red in there. And then, you know, you had the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. This is very, very nice. I think they made it a little too small, in my opinion, but one of my favorite title designs of all time. And up next, we have another MDT Live Championship, and that is the U.S. Championship made out of the Zack Ryder Internet title. And it is a mix between the current U.S. title and the U.S. Spinner title. I think that this title is very, very clean. It's a little bit wacky, but I enjoy it. I designed it on 2K and decided to bring it to life. But the next title we have here is another United States Championship. You can never get old of that title. Another one. And the next title belt we have here is another WWF title from the Attitude Era. And the next title, again, we have another WWE Spinner Championship. Another one. Moving on to the next title belt, we have another US Championship. Again, just never gets old of that title. I love the design of it. And then moving on, we have another Cruiserweight Championship. Again, very small title, but very, very nice to have to pose with your smaller figures. And the next title we have here is the Universal Championship. Of course, when this belt first was shown, I absolutely hated it. I thought it was so stupid. It has since grown on me. However, I think it was really dumb to copy the design of the WWE title. Another one. And then the next title we have here is the MDT Elite Championship made out of the current day WWE title. And I really like this design a lot. It's very modern and unique looking, but I dig this title a lot. That is the main prize over there on Vindication, even though MDT Live is always better. And next we have another WWF World Tag Team Championship. Another one. And up next, we have a slightly different version of the WWE Spinner title, and that is because I added these paint details. As you can see, I added the silver there with a silver Sharpie. I thought that was really cool. And the next title we have is another World Tag Team Championship. And it looks like up next, we have the official Mattel SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship, which is a lot better than mine that I made. And I think they did a really good des uh, job designing this title. I think the silver is really nice on that one. And again, we have another United States Championship. Another one. Another one. And up next we have yet again another United States Championship with the Scratch logo instead of the modern day logo. And then up next we have sort of a variant of 
the big gold, and that is the dull plastic one that came with that Charlotte and Ric Flair battle pack. Not very high on the dull ones, but here we have another United States Championship. Those dull titles are just really, really blah to me. I don't think there's any point in even having them. But up next, we have this Winged Eagle Championship, and I gotta say, this is my least favorite design of the title in history of WWE. I just do not like this title design, which is a very unpopular opinion, but whatever, I guess that you can chew me out in the comment section below. And up next, we have the WWE Championship from 2013. Again, really like that title design a lot when The Rock introduced it. And then next, we have the MDT World Tag Team Titles, and I gotta say that this title is amazing. I love the design of it. Showstopper Custom Figs hooked this title up with the pink strap and the dual colored plates with the silver and gold, and then um, just all the logos on there just look really, really clean. Probably one of my favorite titles in my collection. And then next, we have the dull version of the WWF Tag Title, which again, no point in even having those in your collection. Next up, we have another WWE Championship from 2013. And up next, we have another variant of the WWE Spinner, and that is this dull slash undull Miz Championship. This came with the Elite 11 Miz, is why I say that. Um, not a big fan of that title, honestly. And then we have the purple strapped oval intercontinental title from the ringside exclusive rock figure. And I gotta say that I do enjoy the purple strap, however, the black one is still better to me. And moving on, we have another Big Eagle Attitude Era Championship. Then again, we have another WWE Spinner Championship. And up next, we have a variant of the Winged Eagle, and it is the Ultimate Warrior Light Blue Strapped Winged Eagle Championship. And I gotta say, regardless of the title design that I hate, I love the strap color of this. I like this version a lot better than the black one. Another one. And up next, we have my favorite version of the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, and it is this one from the Ruthless Aggression era. This one and the Raw Tag Team Championship from that era is way better than the current ones, in my opinion. I think they're way more unique and creative, and they have their own design instead of just copy and paste and change the color. Then up next, we have the Intercontinental Oval Championship that we've seen before on this video, obviously. And then we have the Penny Belt, but is the variant, I believe. It came with Kane. It's more of a reddish-orange color instead of just the plain penny color. And then we have the other dull Tag Team Championship, which is, again, a waste of plastic. And then we have another NXT Championship. I believe that is the last one in my collection. Another one. Another one. And then up next, we have another current day WWE Championship. Again, a lot better than that first version that they made. Another one. And then up next, we have again another Winged Eagle Championship. I believe I only have three or so of these. I definitely need more to pose with my older figures. And then, of course, we have another WWE Championship from 2013. And then up next, we have yet again another Oval Black Intercontinental Championship. And then up next, we have a title that I like the Jax version way better. This is the Jax version of the John Cena United States Spinner Belt. And I added the details with the flags and stars on the side plates, as you see there. But I like this one a lot better because it is actually more in scale. And it does spin, as you see. But I like this one a lot better. It's way more in scale. The one that Mattel made was way too small. And up next, we have the other half of the MDT World Tag Team Championship. Again, one of the cleanest belts in the world. And then we have another United States Championship. And then we have the worst belt WWE has ever made, and that is the Penny Tag Team Championship. Absolutely terrible design of a belt. And then next we have the Iron Man Championship, which I love absolutely because I literally put the Iron Man head on the title belt itself. And this is a stipulation-only title belt on Vindication. And, you know, that means that it can only be defended in stipulation-only matches. It won't be defended in just a regular singles match. And then next up, we have another Winged Eagle Championship. I did not know I had that many of these. But next, we have the ECW Championship, which I dig a lot. You know, I used to have like four or five of these, but I did convert, you know, the MDT tag titles into um, or out of these. So now I only have like one, so that's pretty saddening. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. 
And finally, we have a new title belt here, and it is the Million Dollar Championship. And I gotta say that this title is way too small. Even though it was small in real life, I just feel like it's so tiny in your hand. It's like smaller than the Cruiserweight title, but I feel like it needs more shine to it. I think that if anybody wanted to paint that up, it could be a lot better. And here we have another Million Dollar Championship, again, like I said with the last one, just a lot smaller. But then here is another WWE Championship from 2013. And then moving on, we have another Raw World Tag Team Championship. I'm very glad I have two of these. I wish I had two of the SmackDown ones, but I don't. These belts run like 20 something dollars a piece, which is really crazy for a figure belt. But again, just really enjoy this design, even though Mattel made it a little bit too small. But guys, we finally made it to the end. That is every single figure belt that I have in my collection. I think it is around 117 total championship belts in this collection. That is absolutely crazy. But that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Comment down below what your favorite belt is from this collection. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.